the next thing which needs to be digested is nucleic acid. So, digestion of nucleic acids and nucleic acids would be both DNA and RNA. Now, first thing, from where do we get this? Because when we are talking of carbohydrate, proteins and fats, we knew that this is the material from which we are getting this uh, nutrient. In case of DNA and RNA, what is that food material which gives us these nucleic acids? Nucleic acids, that is DNA and RNA, are present in all the cells. Some, like DNA, they are only in the nucleus part and this is in nucleus, then it is in cytoplasm also. So, if we are eating a cell, we are getting this nucleus which contains DNA and RNA. So, this also needs to be digested. Buccal cavity has no nucleic acid digesting enzyme. <clears throat> so, first location, buccal cavity, no digestion here. And the reason is there is no nucleic acid digesting enzyme. Stomach, again no digestion as gastric juice does not contain any such enzyme. Third location, duodenum. In duodenum, pancreatic juice and intestinal juice, they contain certain enzymes. So first from pancreatic juice. Pancreatic juice has an enzyme called nuclease or nucleases. These nucleases are of two types. Deoxyribonuclease and ribonuclease. And their action is on directly DNA or RNA. So here what is going to happen is DNA is acted upon by deoxyribonuclease. And RNA is acted upon by ribonuclease. And we know that DNA and RNA are made up of nucleotides. So when DNA molecule is broken down, we get deoxyribonucleotides. Or in simple words, we can say DNA is broken down into its units, that is nucleotides. And here it would be ribonucleotides. So, we can write deoxyribonucleotides or simply nucleotides <coughs> in both the cases. This is through pancreatic juice which has nucleus. Then intestinal juice. Intestinal juice has two enzymes. One is nucleotidase and other is nucleosidase. So, the nucleotides, both deoxy as well as simple ribonucleotides, they are acted upon by nucleotidases and these nucleotides are broken down into nucleosides and inorganic phosphates. Nucleotides are made up of three things. There is pentose sugar, it can be deoxyribose sugar or ribose sugar but it is a pentose sugar plus there is nitrogen base and the inorganic phosphate is also attached. So the phosphate is released. Now this nucleosidase nucleo Cydase is acted upon by another enzyme which is present in intestinal juice. It is called nucleosidase or nucleosidases. So 
they would break down this nucleoside to release pentose sugar plus nitrogen base that is purins and pyrimidines. So ultimately first uh, case DNA and RNA the nucleic acids are acted upon by enzymes to break down or broken down to be broken down into mono units. These mono units are called nucleotides. Nucleotides are then broken down into nucleosides and phosphate then nucleosides into the final end product that is pentose sugar and nitrogen base and these nitrogen bases are purines and pyrimidines. So nucleic acids are also broken down. So up till now what we have seen is in all the nutrients that we have consumed or we normally consume carbohydrates get broken down into monosaccharides like glucose, fructose and all. Proteins are broken down into their mono units that is amino acids. Fats are broken down into their constituent units that is fatty acids and glycerol. And here we saw that nucleic acids are also broken down into their simplest possible uh, units. Now after this digestion is done, there are few more things which are there in our uh, food, vitamins, minerals and water. We have uh, talked about this in the beginning itself that vitamins are not digested, they are absorbed as it is. Minerals also are absorbed as it is and water also. So we have completed the process of digestion. So in the five process of complete uh, digestive system or nutrition, that is ingestion, then digestion and absorption. So now in the next section, we will talk about how these digested substances or simpler molecules are absorbed. After absorption, we will talk about assimilation and their ejection. So from next uh, section, we will start with the absorption process.